Imagine yourself on a boat, the salty air stinging your face. The waves crash against the hull. You're not after tuna or marlin. You're after something bigger, something smarter. You're hunting a monster, the giant Pacific octopus. These creatures with their eight arms and incredible strength are the stuff of legends. They're not the monsters of myth, but they are fascinating, intelligent, and a vital part of the ocean's ecosystem. But they're also a sought-after delicacy, and that's where the conflict lies. The giant Pacific octopus is the largest octopus species in the world. They can grow to over 30 feet and weigh over 600 pounds. Their intelligence is astounding. They can solve puzzles, use tools, and even recognize human faces. Their ability to camouflage themselves is remarkable. One minute they blend seamlessly with the ocean floor, the next they're flashing vibrant colors, warning off predators. These creatures are a marvel of evolution, perfectly adapted to their environment. In many Asian cultures, octopus is a prized delicacy. It's grilled, fried, boiled, and even eaten raw. The demand for octopus meat is high and unfortunately, this has led to overfishing in some areas. The pressure on octopus populations is intense. Fishermen are driven by the need to provide for their families and the ever-increasing demand from consumers. This delicate balance between supply and demand is at the heart of the problem. Traditional octopus fishing methods are often simple and ingenious. Fishermen would lower pots and traps to the ocean floor, baiting them with crabs or fish. The octopuses, drawn by the scent, would crawl inside and become trapped. Another method involved using a long spear with a barbed hook. Fishermen would use their knowledge of octopus behavior to locate their dens and then carefully extract them. These traditional methods, while effective, were often more sustainable than modern techniques. Section 5. Modern Methods Modern fishing technology has revolutionized the way we catch octopus. Large trawlers drag nets across the ocean floor scooping up everything in their path. This method is highly efficient but comes at a cost bycatch. Bycatch refers to the unintentional capture of marine life other than the target species. This can include fish, turtles, sharks, and even other octopus species. The environmental impact of bycatch is significant, disrupting the delicate balance of the ocean ecosystem. Section 6. A Life at Sea The vast expanse of the ocean stretching as far as the eye can see is both a beautiful and daunting sight. For those who make their living on these waters, every day brings a new challenge and a new adventure. The life of an octopus fisherman is far from glamorous. It involves early mornings, long days, and often nights spent out at sea. The work is grueling, requiring both physical strength and mental fortitude. They battle harsh weather conditions, long hours, and the ever-present dangers of the sea. Storms can arise without warning, turning a calm day into a fight for survival. The waves can be merciless, and the rain can be relentless. The fishermen must secure their equipment and ensure their boat can withstand the elements. Every task, from casting nets to hauling in the catch, must be done with precision and care. It's a physically and mentally demanding job, one that leaves them exhausted but also with a sense of accomplishment. The weight of the nets, the strain on their muscles, and the constant vigilance required can take a toll. Often passed down through generations, this way of life is a family tradition. Fathers teach their sons, and grandfathers share their wisdom with the younger generation. Despite the challenges, there is a deep sense of pride and heritage. Many fishermen have a deep respect for the ocean and the creatures that inhabit it. They understand the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem and the importance of preserving it for future generations. They understand the need for sustainability and are often at the forefront of conservation efforts. By adhering to quotas and using sustainable fishing gear, they help ensure that the ocean remains a viable source of livelihood. Many fishermen participate in beach cleanups and attend conservation meetings. They are advocates for the health of the ocean, knowing that their livelihood depends on it. Their livelihood depends on the health of the ocean. A healthy ocean means a healthy catch, and a healthy catch means a sustainable future for their families and communities. The bond between the fishermen and the sea is unbreakable, forged through years of hard work, respect, and dedication. Section 7. The Price of Appetite. In this section we delve into the intricate and often overlooked consequences of our culinary desires, particularly focusing on the octopus, a creature both fascinating and vital to marine ecosystems. 
the demand for octopus meat has taken a toll on populations worldwide. As global appetites grow, the pressure on octopus populations has intensified, leading to significant declines in their numbers. This demand is driven by the octopus's unique texture and flavor, making it a sought-after delicacy in many cultures. Overfishing is a serious concern, and some species are in danger of collapse. The relentless pursuit of octopus has not only affected their populations, but also put immense pressure on other marine species. Overfishing disrupts the balance of marine life, leading to the endangerment of various species that rely on a stable ecosystem. The consequences of overfishing extend far beyond the octopus itself. Coral reefs, which are home to a myriad of marine species, suffer when key species like the octopus are removed. These reefs are vital for the health of the ocean, providing shelter and food for countless organisms. The ocean's ecosystem is a complex web of life. Each species, no matter how small, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance. The diversity of ocean life is what keeps the ecosystem resilient and capable of withstanding changes. The removal of one species can have cascading effects on others. Predators that rely on octopus for food may struggle to find alternative sources, leading to a decline in their populations. This in turn affects the species that these predators hunt, creating a ripple effect throughout the food chain. Overfishing of octopus can disrupt the food chain, impacting predators and prey alike. The natural habitat of the octopus is a delicate environment, and its removal can lead to unforeseen consequences. The balance of the marine ecosystem is delicate, and the loss of a single species can have far-reaching impacts. It's a stark reminder of our interconnectedness with the natural world. Our actions have direct and indirect effects on the environment. Marine conservation efforts are crucial in mitigating the damage caused by overfishing. By understanding and respecting the intricate connections within the ocean, we can work towards a more sustainable future. Protecting the octopus and other marine species is not just about preserving individual creatures, but about maintaining the health and balance of the entire ocean ecosystem. Section 8. Fishing for the Future as we look towards the horizon, the future of octopus fishing is a topic that demands our immediate attention and thoughtful consideration. The delicate balance between human needs and marine conservation is more critical now than ever before. The future of octopus fishing depends on our ability to find a balance between human needs and marine conservation. Marine biologists are tirelessly working to understand the complex behaviors and habitats of octopuses. Their research is crucial in developing strategies that ensure these fascinating creatures can thrive in their natural environments. Sustainable fishing practices such as catch limits and marine protected areas are crucial for ensuring the long-term health of octopus populations. By implementing and adhering to these regulations, we can help prevent overfishing and allow octopus populations to regenerate. These measures not only protect the species but also ensure that future generations can continue to benefit from this valuable resource. Research and innovation also play a vital role. Scientists are developing new technologies and methods to make fishing more sustainable. From advanced tracking systems that monitor octopus populations to innovative fishing gear that reduces bycatch, these advancements are paving the way for a more responsible approach to fishing. Scientists are exploring alternative methods of octopus aquaculture raising them in controlled environments to reduce pressure on wild populations. This approach not only helps in conserving wild octopus but also provides a reliable source of octopus for consumption, thereby supporting the fishing industry in a sustainable manner. The future of octopus fishing lies in our hands. It requires a collective effort from fishermen, scientists, policymakers, and consumers. By working together we can create a sustainable future where both marine life and human communities can flourish. It's a responsibility we must not take lightly. Every action we take today will have a lasting impact on the oceans and the diverse life forms they support. Community involvement and education are key components in this journey. By raising awareness and fostering a sense of stewardship, we can ensure that the future of octopus fishing is bright and sustainable for generations to come.